Do you know why I eat here? I'm making a documentary about prison. Did you ask permission? From who? So you can get outside the prison grounds, but not in prison grounds, Paul. From who? From who? Yeah. The barriers for cars, mate, it's not for people. I've just walked in on public footpaths. You shouldn't have come in there. There's a big sign outside. Well, why? Who will say not to? There's an implied right of access. It just says, why did Channel 4 come and make documentaries on prisons? You're looking at Channel 4, are you? Yeah, but it's the same principle, mate. They've got cameras, we've got cameras. We're not causing any trouble. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Audit in Yorkshire. I'm still with uh, the Gwent Auditor. Hello. <laughs> now, we're up on this dodgy ass. Uh, council estate in Glasgow. I shouldn't really say that. Uh, no, I'm only joking. Uh, so we are at the Scottish Prison Service, guys. HM Prison uh, Barlina. Barlina. Now, Bar this is a bit of a special moment for me, guys, because everyone knows I've done, what, 30 prisons in England, something like that. Uh, done HMP Magabry in Northern Ireland. Done HMP um, what was that one we did in Dublin? Uh, Arbor Hill. Prison. Arbor Hill. I, I've done HMP Usk in South Wales. I've done HMP. Um, what's that big one called in Berlin? Ber uh, Berwin. Berwin. HMP Berwin, Berwin in North Wales. And now I'm up in Glasgow doing my first ever Scottish prison. So, as usual, uh, we're going to get into a little bit. <coughs> information about this place so HM prison uh, Balliny let's get audited in Yorkshire it's the largest prison in Scotland is it, it and it is operated by uh, the Scottish prison service and is located in the residential suburb of Ridry in the northeast of Glasgow Scotland it is informally known locally as the big house the big hoose it's a big hoose. It's even spelt like that as well. Hoose. <laughs> bar and bar L. In 2018, plans for its closure were announced. So it's probably a good um, thing that we're, we're, we're coming here today. Um, because I don't know when it's going to be getting shut down. Um, but there's plans for it to be closed down. So if anyone says so, that's one of the reasons we're here. It's operational. Capacity 1018. It's population approximately 1600. So, how do you work that out? So, it's overcrowded <laughs> for a start. <laughs> Scottish Prison Service, it's managed by Scottish Prison Service, and the governor is Michael Stoner. Michael Stoner? Yep. So, a little bit of history. Uh, Belene, it was. Uh, designed by Major General Thomas Collinson, architect and engineer to the Scottish Prison Department and it was built in the then rural area of Redray. Uh, it's obviously a suburb it's now, up, it used to be rural. So all these houses and, and everything you see. So when I upload this, so they'll live in fields. The name of the prison, I might put SPF, HMP slash SPF. Oh dear me. Um, Right, so it first opened with the commissioning of a hall in July 1882. Bellini Prison, five accommodation halls, uh, wings B, C, D and E, were built in stages between 1882 and 1897, each holding approximately 69 inmates. So... Um, Prison Act 1952 don't apply here. It's for Scottish Prison Act. Prisons Scotland Act. Prison Scotland Act. Um, I'm not fancy coming out me but looking out my back window and seeing a prison. Look at it, it's very imposing as well, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, there were a major extension to the perimeter in 1967 to create an industrial compound. From 1973 to 94, the world famous special unit placed emphasis on rehabilitation, best known success story, being that of reformed Glasgow gangster Jimmy Boyle. Cultural output associated with the special unit included Boyle's autobiography, A Sense of Freedom, 
the hard man uh, the playboy wrote with a tom and mcgrath a body of sculpture and a silent scream a book of prose and poems by larry winters who committed suicide in 1977 um, a total of 10 judicial executions by hanging took place here between 47 and 1960 replacing the glasgow's uh, sorry replacing the gallows at duke street prison before the final abolish uh, ab ab abolition uh, of capital punishment in the United Kingdom for murder in 1969. Right, so um, each of the condemned men have been uh, convicted of murder. All the executions took place at 8 a.m. as was for custom. The remains of all executed prisoners were the property of the state and were therefore buried in unmarked graves within the walls of the prison. What? So we've got prisoners buried within the walls of the prison. That is crazy. Um, uh, during the D Hall renovations of 1997, the prison gallows cell uh, was finally demolished and the remains of all executed prisoners were exhumed for reburial elsewhere. The first man to escape from uh, Berlin was uh, John Dobby, three days after being sentenced to 15 years for a violent robbery in 1985, Dobby escaped inside a laundry van. Uh, he was caught, he was caught, captured by armed police five days later and was sentenced to a further five years. Crazy. Yeah, not done a prison for a while. So it's nice to actually get one in up in Scotland. Um, notable inmates Glasgow gangland figure Paul Ferris with Jimmy Boyle Hugh Collins died in 2021 age 70 uh, Duncan Ferguson Peter Manuel Tommy Sheridan Scottish politician um, there's a couple of others uh, I can't seem to pronounce the name to be honest with you um, but yeah that's about it uh, I don't even know why I bother talking to them, mate. They're just rude. Just rude, and we don't, we don't want to talk. Now it's usual, um, it's the usual case with with a lot of prisons, guys. So, the f you can what? No, you can. No, you can. It's all publicly accessible. Who are you? Sorry. We're not breaking law. Who are you, sorry? What's your call number? We're not breaking the law, so I wouldn't ring the police. Huh. No idea. Anyway, like I said. Um, and this is this is the usual case with a lot of prisons. Uh, the front will look sort of like nice and new and um, you know presentable, and then you, you want to see it back of this place, guys. We'll we'll show you when we go back uh, to cars. But it's 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 just hanging. It's absolutely hanging. You can see you can see a bit of it here. I'll zoom in on that. I haven't got on there. Yeah, full time zoom on this. Yeah, I'll have to zoom in on my editing software because I ain't got my pocket tool back yet. So, yeah, you can have a good look at that. Uh, all the wings, uh, sorry, all the cells have got. They're all obviously all numbered, but they're numbered on the outside as well. Hey? Can yeah, that's fine. Can you identify it's yourself? It's private line for you. Can I go in here and film? Yeah, it's fine. But listen, um, let, let's do it properly. Let's, uh -huh. let's so do why, it, why is it here? Let's do it lawfully. So why are you here? A woman's come out, told us to move. She hasn't identified herself, uh, herself, so she's got no right to ask us to leave. So why are you here? Making a documentary about prison. Did you ask permission? 
From who? So you can do it outside the prison grounds, but not in prison grounds, Paul. From who? From who? There's a barrier there, Stockton. You obviously came through a barrier, is that right? No, there's a footpath. Yeah, it's for cars. There's a barrier there. You came through a barrier. No, there's a footpath. There's a barrier right across the street. The barrier's for cars, mate. It's not for people. I've just walked in on public footpath. You shouldn't have come in there. There's a big sign outside. Well, why? Who will say not to? There's an implied right of access. It's not implied. It is. It is. It's implied. 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 Wales, yeah, Ireland, Northern Ireland, no England. Why is it doing it anyway? Wait, documentary, wait. mate. Why did Channel 4 come and make documentaries on prisons? You're looking at Channel 4, are you? Yeah, but it's the same principle, mate. They've got cameras, we've got cameras. We're not causing any trouble. We're keeping ourselves to ourselves. We yeah. haven't got in your office, the front desk. We know there's no, people in there. We haven't got in there. No. We're respecting privacy. Mm -hmm. I don't see begin to I just because yeah. because what what it is if if you want to be reasonable right what it is is people like to watch um, videos mm -hmm. uh, like documentaries like this so what we do is right what I've done today is is as I've been walking in I've been reading off the Wikipedia the website of this prison I've been telling people about it um, how long it's been here uh, what's what's gone on notable inmates I mean you're laughing but uh, no I'm not laughing at you Paul no I don't know. <laughs> it's a hanging cell. Well, this is this is it. You see, this. See, that's what we're here for. This is this is it. This is all we're here for. Just info. No, it's just a documentary, mate. Like, like I just said to your colleague. Go in to. I think it's hanging uh, hanging with Frank. It's on YouTube. Yeah. And that shows you how it was set up in the early seventies. The right. hanging cell. So the. That's all up D there. D that's hall. his D hall, so yeah. if you look at this, the third floor down, yeah. that's where the beams were. Right. The cells were below it, and then the mortuary was underneath. Hanging with Frank, I think it's called. You Google see, it. This, this is all we want good interaction with staff. Yeah. We tell you what that's we're doing. You can tell. You can do nothing. About you give it, us so. a little bit yeah. of information about that's so all we I'll want. Tell you, right. This place is shutting down, isn't it? It's shutting down. 2027. Right. Uh, so this is. D Hall, that's Delta Hall. Right. That was that was built about 1890. But even then, we were, we were we didn't right. have enough. All right. So they then built Echo Hall, which is at the far end of it. So when you when you were looking at it, you see the, the maps. It goes Echo. So E A B C D. Yeah. Because just... they couldn't get any more ground because this was all marshland for the canal, and they had to actually go to the other side and build another hall. Which, well, is, which is smaller. This were actually all rural at uh, once this upon a time, wasn't it? There were no houses here, the nothing. The motorway is built on the canal, so that to yeah. bring in the stone, they brought it all in the canal to, build, to, to create the stone for it. Yeah, it's interesting. I, I love it. I've literally done a, what, 30 plus prisons, yeah. uh, many documentaries. Take it, have you been up to Peterhead? Peterhead's an impressive no, we, one. We've only yeah. just got here yeah, today, mate. First, first day in Scotland. How many days are you doing? Uh, till Saturday. Nah, you've not got enough time. If Peterhead, Peterhead's got a brand new jail. It's called HM Prison Grampian. But they've got the old Peterhead. You ever watch Screw on the on the television? It's on Channel 4. I am seeing it. Is now. it a prison programme? It's well, a prison, it's, it's, a, right, it's, yeah. it's obviously set in England, but it's built, filmed in Glasgow. No, I've seen something in the scum. Right. I've seen scum. Nah, that's, that's for the Borstals. That was, yeah, that Borstals, was for the yeah. 70s. That was, yeah. uh, 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 what was his name? Roy Winston that was in that as a boy. Roy uh, Winston. Ray Winston. Ray Winston. Ray Winston. Which was yeah, yeah. Carly. Carly. Yeah, right. Name and number. I'm the daddy. I'll tell you I'm what. If, if things were still like that yeah. now, I bet you wouldn't have as many prisoners, would you? Yeah. Well, <laughs> high numbers at the moment. But if you get a chance, gra Gramping has got. So you can actually go in there. I don't know whether you'll be able to film. I think you probably will be able to film because you take photographs. So the old HM prison, the old you head, you can get in and film. Yeah. So it's still set up. Like a prison, like the Victorian prison. That's quite interesting. I think it's about eight quid or something. Oh, so it's like a prison museum. It's a prison museum. Right, yeah. So it's, it's the that. original HM prison, yeah. Peterhead Hate Factory. They called that. That's where all the all the, the idiots had went to uh, in the, the late seventies, early eighties. Yeah, if it's a museum, you so can it's now shut. So it's really impressive. It's yeah. not run by the SPS. It's run by a, another organisation. But again. The halls are, are, are all the same. They've got the iron lungs, which is a single cell where you used to walk in. It's a single bed. You used to actually walk in yeah, like yeah, that because yeah, yeah, yeah. the cells are so small. Well, I went to HMP Shrewsbury in England, and that's, that shut down in 2013. Yeah. They turned that into a museum. But it is 
how it is now. Yeah. It, it is now how it was back then. Yeah. Nothing's well, changed. Hall away. Fifteen quid. Hall away. You can you can get into Hall away. Uh, my son does a bit of urban exploring, and he was in Hall away. Yeah, that's, that's we do a bit of urban exploring. Well. Well. Yeah. You can get into Hall away. He's yeah. been right through Hall away. Uh, yeah, that's what we do as well. Check it out. Are you, are you, you know, I'll tell you. Well, put them off, and I will tell you uh, who he is, and it's got loads of photographs on that. Uh, right. If you put it off, I'll tell you. Because we'll have a we'll have we'll have a look we'll have a scout right. on it. So he's uh, he's we'll he does there. his urban explorations. He's he goes in and he just takes photographs. Then he touch anything. Uh, but he's been doing the Holloway. He drove down there. There's three of them went down, and they went through Holloway. It's a swimming pool and everything like that. The, the medical suites that still had toe tags and yeah, uh, yeah. and medical records so, from, so from the women. Y- you know what the crack is, then. You know what we're doing, don't you? You know we've got an interest in, right. in, in, in what we're doing because your right. son does it. So right. yeah, well, he, he enjoys it. Yeah, we're like not here for it. anything nefarious, mate. No, I don't What's your it. prison legislation? I know, I know. In England, prison act 1952, you're not allowed to record inside of a prison. We can't take any communications. Is it or the same in Scotland? Aye. Yeah. The, the only people that they can record is, is security, and they've got. They it, would come in and record things, you know, like proper crimes and, that, yeah. and things like that. But we we can't we can we can't take the like phones in or anything. Like yeah, yeah. So I wonder if it's the same. Prison, no, like, prison Scotland Act, act isn't it? Under the Prison Scotland Act, yeah. Right. So we can't take any any recording devices. Uh, can't even wear smart smart watches or anything. You've got to leave them all in thingy as you go in, yeah. Yeah, no. I mean, we go through a metal detector, so we can't take any metal stuff in. Can't have anything. Uh, no nothing. watches. No, for, well, well, we do watches in, but we can't take smart watches in. Oh, I couldn't even bring this in, could I? Tobacco. Tobacco, no. Oh, that's in, that's in, that's in, honestly, you've no. I shouldn't have fortune. I shouldn't have it here. <laughs> should I? Make a fortune. How much do you reckon? How much do you reckon they pay for that? Oh no. <laughs> Forty quid. Fifty quid. Fucking. I don't know. Should we have serious? Should we have right. See that two ounce pouch of tobacco, but that that will cost you a tenner. Oh, yeah, hundred oh, quid for that. Wow. In there, you need to obviously get the rizzlers in and the, and the lighter in as well, because oh, yeah. you don't sell papers. Uh, I don't think they can smoke in English jails, can they? No, can we over here? Yeah. Can, we, can you still smoke in here? No. Is Nothing. it what? Is it vaping, vaping. now? Vaping. vaping. Uh, so you get you get non-tobacco vapes and tobacco vapes. It's your own choice. What? Um, right. No, this is a serious question. Yeah. It's not intrusive. Yeah. It's just serious. Um, when that legislation was brought in, where prisoners had to stop smoking yeah. in prison, how, what, what kind of response did you get from prisoners? We thought we feared the worst. So it was it was every every month up till they eventually did it. Uh, it was eight months to go, seven months to go. Uh, smoke cessation was was introduced. Uh, you were getting free patches. You were getting free vapes uh, up to after. So that was no, no November. Right, right. Up after Christmas, you were actually getting free substitute smoking products, and the, everything that comes in there's need. We don't make any money in that. So the vapes they pay what cost, what the cost value is of the vapes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so not as bad as you thought it were going to be? We probably ran out of tobacco, or, or illicit fines of tobacco, for about, probably six months after that. Folk were just buying tobacco, bulking tobacco. Uh, but I, I, I don't know when that, the last bit of tobacco I've saw. Obviously, ob- obviously, I'm not going to start yeah. asking about um, um, narcotics and stuff like yeah. that, because I know that happens and it'll yeah. never stop. Um, and I've, I've seen enough TV shows, you know. Um, Wormwood Scrubs, ex-governor, uh, even went on TV and said it will it will never uh, ever stop. You will never stop. Our governor was on uh, um, Drive Time Scotland talking about uh, about drugs. Uh, so again, if you go into that, it's still it's still live and valid. Uh, Drive Time Scotland and BBC. Well, I was just going to ask about cigarettes. Uh, do, do you still get con- cigarettes getting snuck in and people having a quick? I mean, I've not seen tobacco in, in a jail for, for years. Like, say if, say if a yeah. prisoner got caught smoking a real cig, it's sort of like, what punishment would they get for that? For, it's a forbidden article, so it's the same if it was drugs. Or, or, Is that like serious time their, on the sentence? Like sentence no. We don't, we don't add on to sentences. All oh, right. We don't have that legislation anymore. Well, I can see you two are both managers, so are you finishing and are you no, starting? No, I'll just come back in. That's my break. 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 That's what breaks, so you believe in jail for we other so. Yeah. Listen, guys, seriously, yeah. my name's Kev. Um, I've told you what I'm doing. No, this, listen, I've got... This is the best. Answer. Listen, yeah, guys, yeah, seriously, this is yeah. this is the best yeah. interaction out uh, of uh, 30-odd prisons I've done. Well, well, listen, I, I, I just woke up. I, 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 I remember <laughs> watching the boy... He turned up and saved it, mate. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> you turned out, you're all right. You're I remember like, watching the boy, uh, and it was an officer, it was our first line manager for Edinburgh, and he just literally marched them off the premise. And it was, it was obviously on YouTube, get Dave, 
Yeah. yeah. Oh, cheers. It's a public place. You can the bastards, mate. But listen, no, no, no yeah. prison anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Dublin, uh, yeah. Ireland, Northern Ireland, Wales, England. No, yeah. we've never had an interaction with yeah. prison officers like that. No one's ever give us time of day. Ah, us all, I'm being yeah. serious, mate. You broke the mold, mate. You broke the mold. Ah, you broke the mold. <laughs> So listen, guys, guys, you take care. Right. If you get a chance, go up to Grampy. We will, but Control can you, b before we go, yeah. can I just ask you a favour? Yeah. When you go in, can you just let that uh, prison officer, uh, yeah, they know. blonde there, you know who she is? No, have, you told, have you told her? I phoned her. Did you see her? Because she came out, I don't, I didn't, she came out having a go, and she just ran off, and I thought, yeah, she's going to ring police. Right. That's obviously, they obviously don't watch YouTube channels. <laughs> oh, no. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah listen, massive respect, man. No more about... Eight miles for here. It's a brand new prison built 2014. Uh, that's, that's, a, that's the footprint of what prisons are going to be like. Massive respect. Is that a women's prison, that one? No, no, no more, no. Oh, I thought it was a women's prison, though, Marshall. Listen, I'd, I'd, I'd like to ask you more questions, but I know you guys oh, are busy. I'm, I'm actually, like, I know you're busy. Google Low Moss, mm. eight miles that way, brand new jail. Thank you. Oh, brilliant, thank you very much. Top man, cheers, pal. Pleasant. Well, what a turn, what a turnout. What, I know, even you. What, 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 that, Side of the coin completely <laughs> flipped, didn't it? From bad to good. Yeah, did we had her kicking off for there and going absolutely spare. I mean, he was just about to. Yeah. He was just about to that manager guy, and then the other guy, his son's a, his son's actually a YouTuber, an urban explorer, guys. <laughs> And uh, so, so he, he completely understands what we're doing, where where we're at, what his intentions are. Absolutely fine. In, in I swear to God, best interaction at any prison we've ever had. Uh, because nobody, no prison staff uh, ever has given me, I don't know about you, but me, the time of day like them to have, yeah. I asking questions and actually getting an answer. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, I've not, I've not had that That's amazing. It looks like Bar Linney, they, they know what they're doing there. Yeah. At uh, Bar L. Yeah, Bar Linney, big, big pass. Watch out for the prison officer the cars. Yeah, I know, I just nearly fell into it. <laughs> yeah, big pass for Bar Linney. Absolutely. To be fair, first day in Scotland, isn't it? Literally everyone's been. It's it's not been too bad, guys. So we've we've done a lot. We've done um, uh, immigration detention centre. Uh, we've we've had we've done um, GOAMA. We've done um, the special ops place. What's got all the you know the Home Office, uh, NCS, Police Scotland inside, and then obviously uh, Barlinner. Um, everyone's been absolutely fantastic. Oh, uh, public, yeah, um, and what I'll do is I'll. I'll I'll shut you down and I'll come back to you guys because there's members of the public about and obviously these have been right with us so uh, we're going to do the decent thing and uh, we'll pick it back up uh, when we get on the outside. Back up in a bit of room on the fucking floor for no reason. Um, right guys, we're, we're, we're done, we're going to wrap it up. Uh, what a brilliant interaction with yeah. uh, the prison officers. Well, and what, later on it was anyway. Yeah, what, what myself and, um, what myself and um, TJ were saying is the, the first PO in the white shirt sort of gelled into the conversation after the second manager guy uh, were all right with us. Oh, it's Respite Project. Um, yeah, the first woman, complete Karen, uh, but she got shut down by her own boss because he rang her and said, look, don't bother ringing the police, I know what we're doing. Um, so yeah, this place, come 2027, may no longer be here guys it may be shutting down so you know what's coming it always comes at the end of the video what's coming if you enjoyed the video please like comment and subscribe hit that notification bell for future and upcoming videos and i will see you in the next one bye for now